Hello my friends and welcome back, it's episode 61 of, the, of King Arthur the Knight's Tale. These guys are facing the wrong way. This unseelie witch found the gate your mind created. We must kill her and her followers. There is no other choice. For my forefathers. I can take them all. Do you need any wise words? So many offerings. They're all ranged. I fight for honor. Probably want to get stuck in immediately. Orders. Sword or sorcery? And I'll say burn, baby burn. Seely Inferno. I fight for honor. Well, that wasn't a bad little uh, strike, now was it? <laughs> Only two left. Always going after Sir Valen. For Camelot. For Avalon. Your Highness. Slay them. So many offerings. Kneel before your king. Be really desperate. For my forefathers. Man, it's like proper focus fire on Velen, isn't it? Which one should I take? Awaiting your command. The old hard AI. That's it. That's it. I hope that's it. 
You can return to the Deepwood from here. You are free to go. You have learned all that I could teach you. That's it. Rough battle. Huh. I see you found your way out. With a hell of a guide. An exile on Sealy Lord in person. Some people are so damn lucky. Yes. When I first came to the Deep Wood, I got lost too. I had to learn to travel that terrible forest alone. It took me days. I nearly lost my mind. Will you join us I've now? had time to think, and I've made my decision. I want to join your round table. Wait. Wait. Even my patience has its limits. This man is a murderer, the slayer of the she. He would bring shame to the round table. I am here to help you kill King Arthur. I am ready to join your round table, but only if you send away this demented murderer. That is my sole condition. <laughs> well, considering that he is blatantly a defender, and I'm really not that interested in having more defenders. And he is a mage. You shouldn't trust a Seelie, exiled or not. They are monsters. They were born and raised to despise us. One day, he will betray you. One day, but today is not that day. If he were a champion, I might have taken him. <laughs> I don't think Defender is a very strong class, and it feels to me like it's only because Mordred is the main character that you would even use one. And I don't know if other people, other Defenders get, you know, Lightning Strike and so on. But in terms of being a melee tank, the champions are way better. Plus two tiles range for ranged spells and vulnerability, plus ter two turn burning duration. Regain three armor when resting. That's quite nice. Dodging the first in opportunity attack might allow you to disengage better. My knight has failed to seal the otherworldly gate with a ritual. He's not leveled up yet.
dodge the first incoming melee attack each turn. Uh, very rare that he gets melee attacked. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's that swirling ice thing, except with ravens. is pretty sweet. I can make it cost less and reduce its cooldown so I can use it more often. To be honest, all the skills related to it are pretty good. Pyromania as well. Well, there's definitely some room to turn this guy into a into a true beast of burning things. Reduce the cooldowns on the old killing moves. It's pretty sweet. Nice, wouldn't it? Man, that's not bad at all, actually. Let's do 
finish the old that old bow there. I'm going to say that most of it is not actually, you know, fantastic. Yeah, you can quite c clearly see here, look, a blue, a blue armor at level 10 is better than a gold at level 5. More HP, more armor, and regaining 3 while, while resting versus regaining 1 at the start of each encounter. That's roughly the same, I mean, you're gonna see maybe one campfire to every 2 or 3 battles. Obviously, I'm not about to throw away. I'm not about to throw it away. I could melt it down and get something better. challenge reward. Nuke the Sealy. Alright, let's go through these accessories. quite a nice item for a defender, but I only have one defender. Fortunately, it's just low level. Low level meaning low health. Marks night on that. Skill. 
Once per turn, gain three, move gain three movement AP for one turn after receiving hit, plus ten damage for one turn for each hit received. be useful for someone who's poison focused. Cheer him up. Minus one AP hurts pretty bad. That extra loyalty actually gives her a plus one action point. Getting her loyalty up is incredibly hard. That is really nice piece of kit. Uh, the only problem with this is the damage output on it's quite low, but gain five damage for one turn after using a movement skill. Plus three poison damage. I mean getting a free attack is really nice.
Right, the fact that this reduces your AP by one makes it too painful to use. I think this would be very cool on uh, Ektar. If he was built for hexing. So I might keep that. This, I mean, level 5 artifacts are actually going to start to suffer. This one was alright. It's just that, you know, it was only usable once per mission, so it's just basically a potion in your hand. Okay, so these were the old you, the old things that I used for the old backstabber. I do like this, but I do like it. But it's not very powerful by the by this point of this game. I'm also wondering whether I should hang on for level 15 items. But then again, these guys are like level 10, so... Trash, get rid of it. The level five stuff needs to go. It's that simple. <coughs> the mark of the immaculate. Gain two armor after each encounter with no damage was received. Okay. Regain three armor when resting, that's alright. Re plus two armor. That's pretty tough armor for a medium. For a 
for medium armor. Yours for the low, low price of a huge amount of gold. Oh well, I guess it's better than nothing. People that need uh, uh, basically most of my A team is injured right now, and I'm still trying to save gold so I can buy everything that I want to buy. Ten percent more HP for every hero. Let's go with that. I mean, that's just a flat out nice to have, isn't it, really? Okay, I'm never gonna use Noir. I just kept him around because he uh, provides bonus um, gold. Oh, he heals after battles, that's nice. The fact that he's another one of these vitality self healers is good. Unfortunately, he's not a uh Oh, he's like Hector. But his primary attack is a melee attack, not a uh, ranged attack. Bizarrely. Oh well, he can sit in the... Uh... He can sit in the roster, it's fine.
Oh, the curse has been removed from the princess. The banshee is no more. Nearby villagers can finally sleep in peace. Forest around Camelot once teaming with brigands and marauder knights. Thanks to me and the round table, their numbers were thinned, and the survivors, feeling a change of winds, seek forgiveness. Pardon the bringers. Send a knight to hunt them down. Man, do I even have anybody? <laughs> Send Guinevere again. mission okay not good for me mission every mission is marked as death <laughs> after more gauze is unforeseen departure a new bloodthirsty cult rose among the Picts. These madmen now ravage the countryside. Mm. If we want to enter the heart of the deep wood, we must undertake two rites of admission. First in the Seely Court, which is like most things about the Shi hard to describe. The Seely Court is an aspect of the Shi associated with summer and fire. And it is also a place hidden somewhere in the deep wood. This is where we need to find their ancient crystal of light. You know, I said before, the side missions always seem a bit harder than the story missions. Now, owing to the fact that I do not have the characters that I want right now, but am instead using a low-grade party, I think I think the wise move would be to do the story mission, which is potentially easier. Forcing levels up on him to get more gold, but then you're spending gold to make gold, and it's probably not worth it. Right, I'll give it some thought. Uh, next turn everybody will be back so well actually there's still quite a lot of injuries to heal I don't know we'll see how it goes but that is it for now so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>